Similar to the collection of autographed baseball magazines I showed earlier in the year, I have a bunch of magazines featuring athletes not of baseball that I'd like to get autographed, like this Sports Illustrated tribute to Wayne Gretzky. This would really pop with a silver signature on it, I think. But I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't seen him ever, actually. And I have no hockey covers signed. But I do have a bunch of football, including one of my favorites of Bart Starr, who inscribed this 1966 Sports Illustrated cover, NFL MVP 66. He went back and put the NFL before the inscription just to let everyone know he was the man in that league. I love this cover. Old school all the way. How hot war in the West in the West for Green Bay. Frank Gifford, Best Wishes Hall of Fame 77 inscription on this awesome throwback cover. Magazine dated 1997. Picture was taken in 1959. One of the few double SIGs I have, 1985 Preview for the college and pro season, Eric Dickerson with his Hall of Fame 99 inscription, and below, Napoleon McCallum of Navy with his college Hall of Fame 03 inscription and his uniform number. Good looking shot on the cloud background. Remember the day I picked this up. I got them both to sign eventually, and I love it. Hall of Famer Jim Kelly in the USFL days. Signed and inscribed his Hall of Fame 02. Should have had him sign the game which he threw for 500 and something yards against Steve Young, but that's a great one. This Legends Memorabilia magazine in the middle, just above, just below the uh, NFL swatch on the drawing of Brett Favre is his signature and Super Bowl 31 champ inscription. In the back is a picture of him actually signing it, so I know he did. Just don't get your smoothie too close to it. Desmond Howard, Super Bowl 31 MVP, signed in silver to the right with his number 81. Brett's teammate. Super Bowl 32 MVP, Terrell Davis. His uniform number and Inscription of his big game. Nice to meet him. Sense of theme. Or Denver winning John Elway with his number seven from the Super Bowl 32 game. And then I got him in person. Signature and number seven. This is after Super Bowl 33 and his retirement. Nice SIGs. Antonio Freeman signed with his number 86 in black Sharpie. This is a TTM. This was sent as a TTM. I'm not really sure if it's official, authentic, or done. It is a signature. Someone actually signed it, but I'm not sure if it is his in fact. More research on the way for that. This is not Steve's Young. This is not Steve Young's autograph. This is a stamp. I've uh, checked uh, different versions of his actual autograph to a stamp, and this matches up with the non-authentic. So we'll have to try again. And then college days in LSU for Kevin Falk, member of the Patriots, and he just signed his name and number three. Bang. You're welcome. Olympians. What happened to this guy? He was really good through the mail for a long time. And for a long time, he was a guy that a lot of kids and guys looked up to. It says, uh, dream big, work hard, Bruce Jenner. I don't even know if he signs through the mail anymore and if he does what he signs as. 
This is one of my favorites too. Um, I sent in a request prior to sending in the magazine. Nadia Komenich signed it to me. Great looking cover. Kim Zemeskel signed this in black Sharpie. Heading into the 92 Summer Games in Barcelona. And I looked on the back and I realized there was a a little card. I didn't know what it was. I hadn't looked at it in so long. And she actually sent me a little a little thank you note. It's a little bright in here, but it just says thank you for the letter and thank you for your support. And she signed it again. So I didn't even know I had it until I looked again. So that was very nice of Kimmy. Carl Lewis is always dependable through the mail. And I have two of his from 1984 and 1992. And the covers say, glory, glory. And yes, yes. Both signed by Carl in blue. Awesome. 1980 Winter Games. Eric Hyden, the Olympic medalist, signed to me in black. And Bonnie Blair, heading into 92. Signed in blue. She's very dependable. It was very dependable through the mail. Haven't tried since. Herman Mayer, what a great shot this is. Signed in black. And I was reading the article about the Nagano Olympics in 98 and realized that in the inside he signed it in black as well next to his picture going downhill. Great shot. You can see his face and the emotion. So that was cool to discover yet again. AJ Kitt Winter Olympic preview in 92. Here's an Olympian. Best wishes Sugar Ray Leonard and the infamous smiley face he puts on his signatures. This is from 97. Cool. And the interim champ, he was the champ, Ken Norton Sr. Son played for the 49ers, 1978 cover with Hall of Fame 92 inscription. Wearing the WBC belt. Another one of my favorites, Jack from 1978. Best of luck and his name. And this seems to match up, so I'm pretty confident that it's the real deal. Edit in insert video as I was just about to put these away. I realized on the back of the Jack Nicholas magazine, I said it pretty much is. Now I know why I said it on the back. It says, hello, Michael, you may send your magazine to my attention at the address below, and I will be happy to have Mr. Nicholas sign it for you. And it was North Palm Beach, Florida on his letterhead. So yeah, it is official. I knew I was right. I knew it was real. Awesome. Another Masters Chan Marco Mira. Into basketball now. And two of the all time great coaches. Best wishes to Mike, writes Coach Dean Smith on this classic 97 cover. And on the women's side, Pat Summit signed her name on this 1998 magazine. Coach Wojo was nice enough to sign this. Best wishes to me from the 97 preview. Steve Wojo, he shortened his name. And then a couple of the big boys here. Kareem, he used to sign his name just Kareem and now he signs it just Abdul-Jabbar. And there was quite a crowd to see him that day. This is a TTM Magic. Odd place to sign it, but what can I do? And you can't have Magic without Larry Legend, 86 finals against Houston. Signed it very nice in silver. And then a few years later, he became coach, and he's coach Larry Bird. The same. Big bold silver signature in this 97 
issue. All right. So Mr. Gretzky might be next. We'll try. Until then, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.